Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm gonna make this video today about the Google Analytics measurement protocol. So what does that mean? Uh, it's a little techy, but I want everybody to know about this, what it could do and how it can help your business. Okay, so measurement protocol, very simple, simple, is a way for you to send data to Google Analytics so you can gather data, you can report on data, and it's data that you can send from your own server, from your own uh, server that's not part of the HTML. So typically on Google Analytics, what you do is on your web page, you install the Google Analytics tracking code and every single page, every single time a visitor comes to your website, it tracks information about their visitor. Are you, they're using mobile device, a resolution, et cetera, et cetera. So this measurement protocol allows you to have a developer create some code to send data via an HTTP post request send data uh, to Google Analytics to store. So let me give you an example so you can understand why you might need something like this, okay? So let's say you have some data uh, that Google Analytics, you don't have a Google Analytics code on that page. So maybe you have data that's offline or it's in the back end, and you wanna send that data. So you can use code to send data. So for example, um, I'll give you a really good example. So let's say I have an e-commerce shop, I have a store online, and uh, when my visitors come to the website, obviously the Google Analytics tracks everything, their visits and what they're doing, add to carts and buying. Now, when I send, uh, when I actually have the e-commerce e data, it gathers everything. But let's say I want to track the refunds. So typically a refund is made by the business in the back end, in their back end office, they actually go ahead and click on refund. Now that is done via the back end. So that means that there's no Google and there's no visitor that's clicking on the refund or processing the refund. So if I want to send that data back to analytics to specify that a certain order number had a refund, I can't do that. But with the measurement protocol, you can do that. So you create some code and you say, okay, this order is refunded. Or let's say you want to create, let me give you another example. Let's say you have some data offline, like maybe you're, you're tracking your Google Analytics store. You have, let's say, a store that has both a physical store and an online store. And your, your customer actually came to your, online, your physical store, excuse me, and they did something. They purchased, they asked for inquiry, they had some customer service. I can go and create code and send that data back. So you can do a lot of things uh, easier. And the last example I want to do, I want to explain is, Sometimes your developer, uh, it's easier for them to create server code rather than some HTML or JavaScript strip code. So for example, if I want to track how many people see a certain banner, um, maybe when, the, when a certain image loads, I want to track that. I could do that via JavaScript or some front end uh, development, but I can also every time from the server side, something loads, I can send that data. Um, and there's a lot of really cool creative ways to do this. Um, and it's, it's a super cool protocol. There's a lot of things that you can do. You can be creative. Uh, the last example, just to give you a little kind of inspiration or some concept, is you could actually use Google Analytics for tracking non-websites. Like you could actually, let's say you only have a physical store, like a retail store, you're selling some clothing. You could actually use Google Analytics just for tracking everything in your store without even a website. So you could use it for any reason. It doesn't even have to be for a website, even though traditionally we do it. You can track like some of your sensors or your like your cameras or like you could do anything. You can just send any data you want as long as the data has some core mandatory things like user ID, um, you know, pages, these these kind of stuff. So you can do things like really, really cool uh, experimental things as well and track things. So let's jump in and give you some examples, show you how it actually works. This is a little bit for developer, but it's the concept is pretty straightforward, okay? So in the video, I'm also gonna include the URL so you have the references. So what can you do, first of all? So um, there's gonna be th three other pages I'm going to include in the videos. One is just talking about the specifics, okay? So let me actually go to let me go here okay so uh, let's go to the parameter reference guide so when you send data from your own server to google analytics you have to include some basic things okay so here you'll be able to see some general things right so first of all i have to include what my version is i just have a v equals one 
uh, and then I'd have to include my tracking number. This is the Google Analytics ID that associates your account. And then from there, you're gonna, most of the other things are gonna be optional. And most of the things here, if you notice on the right-hand side, these are general things you have to send. Um, for example, the time and the, the tracking number. And then you, you're gonna have to send all these other things. For example, information about the user, about the session, traffic sources, system info, the type of hit, the type of visit, um, and then things like Google Analytics events and e-commerce. All, all of these things that are here are actually things that are located here on the left-hand side, like traffic sources or mobile device or screen resolution or event or e-commerce transaction or goal, you know, all of these things, right? So you'll be able to have all this data right here. And so it'll just tell you, look at the documentation. For example, if I want to send the e-commerce transaction, I have to send the transaction ID, for example, the order number and things like that. Okay. So th this documentation has a lot of things. What I want to do is I want to give you a real example. Okay. So all your documentation is going to be here. This is the parameter reference document. It's really simple. And then the next one, this is very, very uh, helpful. Let me go back here. Um, let me go to right here, developer guide. Okay. And in this developer guide, um, you can reference very, very nice things. So this is the thing I like to reference the most, which is the common hit types. So what it's going to do is it's going to give you all the parameters you need in order to send the most basic data. So for example, a website visit to a certain page or an event, how to send an event or how to send a full e enhanced e-commerce tracking, right? So if I send all of this, so let me give you an example with this. Okay. So let's say I want to track, send an order from my server, not from the website to the system. So what I would do is I would say, okay, my version of the measurement protocol is one. This is always going to stay the same. This is my TID. This is my uh, Google Analytics uh, ID. Okay. This is my client ID. This is the page that I visited. This is the domain. And this is, this is the page, this is the page title, right? So page title would be this, for example, okay? And then here it is. So I have here my impressions. Um, let me actually give you a better example with the action itself. Um, let me go with the transaction. I think this is better. So this is an actual purchase. This is a view of Google Analytics Enhance of viewing products, okay? So I wanna show you the most common one. So I would, this is the same thing. Now here I would include TI is the transaction ID. TA is the affiliation, if any, the actual revenue, the amount of the order, the tax amount, the shipping amount, if there was a coupon, and then the purchase and the items that were purchased, right? So the product ID, this is usually the SKU, the product name, the product category, the product brand, if there's a variant, and the position, right? So that's it. You put the information in and you send it to Google Analytics via HTTP post, okay? And it's really simple. So let's show you a real, real example. The last link, which I'm going to include, which is the coolest thing here, is a tool called the Hit Builder. What is the Hit Builder? It allows you to, instead of making code first, it allows you to use this tool to put the parameters that you want. And in the parameters, you can test the data to see if your parameters are, are good. So for example, here, what I did is I took the version one, and I want to measure just a simple page view. And I put in my Google Analytics ID and I put in a random uh, customer ID. And then I put the page that I want to visit. So if I do that, let's say I go here, I can validate the hit. So any information I put here will automatically populate here. Okay. And I click on validate. If it's valid, which it is, I can already send that data to Google Analytics. So let's say I want to represent a page and I want to call it demo. I want to pretend like some visitor, this customer ID, visited the page called demo video, okay? And if you notice, demo video is right here. So now if I click on validate, it'll validate it here. Now if I send that data to Google Analytics and I look at my Google Analytics real time, you'll notice I just had a visit. And if I look at the content, I'll be able to see that it came to the demo video page. And so you see, I immediately send data to Google Analytics, even though it wasn't in my HTML, I sent it for my server. So that's basically it. You can play with all the data. You can add more parameters. Let's say I want to add a parameter right here. For example, let's go. I want to send just for example, my screen info. I would have a SR equals, for example, 800 by 600 SR. 
I would put it here and that's it. And I, I'm sending my data with a screen resolution right now. So that's it. Hope you enjoy this video. If you have any uh, questions about ideas, how to use it, questions, technical questions, um, just some creative uh, concepts, uh, let me know in the, in the YouTube video comments. I'll be happy to answer. It's a really cool thing. You can do a ton of things with it. Uh, and hope you enjoy the video. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.